my god, guys. I am happy to say this, but I just got Nintendo 64 from my birthday on June 29th. Now, I just want to just do the Nintendo 64 thing. Because why not? Because I just feel sad for you guys. Because I just want you guys to view my Nintendo 64. And I hope you guys will enjoy. So, basically, what I have here is my own Nintendo 64. Which, of course, has Mario Kart 64 in it. I'm just going to try to, like, scoot up a little bit since this phone is, like, charging. See? Okay, yeah, you can see that. So, Mario Kart 64 in there, which is, like, probably one of my favorite Mario Kart games of all time. And this, oh boy, this is this is probably one of my favorite consoles. And guys, tell me in the comments if you love the Nintendo 64 because, oh my gosh, it's just lovely and good. But sometimes, what happens is sometimes my controller, it sometimes just feels a little awkward. I can't play with two hands since I'm holding the phone right now. But right here... This is my bag, so also I have got a Yoshi story here, and that's it. That's all two games I only have, but we have four controllers, so this was from my birthday, which you guys probably might have known, because a few days ago, it was my birthday. My birthday is on June 29th, and I'm so glad I have just got this. Just look at this. Well... Usually, sometimes the the control stick is kind of a little awkward, but it's actually pretty good. And usually, people say this is one of the best consoles ever. And if they said that, I think I agree with them. Guys, tell me in the comments if you agree. And so, people say this is the first ever controller to have the back trigger, of course, because... The Nintendo 64 was made in 1996. So, yeah. And I still love this thing, even though it's it's a pretty old console. And it does work. So the reason why I have it on the floor is just because I didn't want the Xbox 360 to just like do like overheat or something like that. So my dad just hooked it up for me because, you know what? Nintendo 64... It's just good. It's just awesome. And and let's see if it works. Just right now. Let's see. And there it goes. As you can see, we got the Nintendo 64 going. Mario Kart 64. And yeah, I will do a I will not do a bit of a gameplay of it because of course, I, I'm holding the phone. You kind of, like, turn it on like the Super Nintendo where you have to, like, kind of, like, flip it. And right here, you just press the reset button. So, this is the reset button. Also, if, if you want your Nintendo 64 to have more memory, you can just go ahead and just open this. But I'm not going to open it because, yeah. So, I have four controllers, which usually, of course, they're wireless. And there are four controller slots. So this is one of the second second Mario game Mario Kart games. I mean, <laughs> sorry about that. But Mario Kart 64 was one of the second second Mario Kart games to ever come into existence. So we know that first was Super Mario Kart, which is for the Super Nintendo, which of course I have. And well, well, I don't have Super Mario Kart. I just have the Super Nintendo, and. And Mario Kart 64. So, Mario Kart 64 was the second game to ever come to exist. But, this thing is such a classic. And, yeah. We all know that people complain about this controller because of the awkward look of it. And, some people say it's one of the laziest piece of, like, crap or something like that. But, honestly, I think it just has an average score. I think so because sometimes the controls are just handy and good. But the most issues I really have is kind of like with Yoshi's story, which I didn't want Yoshi to, like, ground pound all the time because, of course, you know, to move in Yoshi's story, you have to use this. Why not use the D-pad? Like, are they dumb? Are they dumb as crap? I mean, seriously. So, yeah. So, as you can see, right here we got the start button, so... Right here, we got this. This is the A button. 
this is the B button, and all these are just arrow buttons. That's it. Yeah, the the controller is kind of designed weird. Right here is where you can store your game packs. So say if you're like, if you're like playing Mario Kart 64, when if you and if you want to save your ghost data, you can just put this in right here. So you can just put it with this in, and then this will give the option to save your ghosts. And yeah, because of like like the texture movement movement or something like that, kind of like a weird controller. So you got these shoulder buttons, which I <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that, but basically you have these shoulder buttons, which I almost forgot to tell you that, and yeah, and usually. The one thing that I really hate about the Nintendo 64, it just takes so much power to, like, take off the the controllers. You know, yeah, it's kind of hard to do it. And, and, yeah, so, I think that's pretty much I gotta say about the Nintendo 64. And, yeah, I'm not sure if that's it. So, guys, just, just let me know if you got any more things about the Nintendo 64. Just let me know in the comments if you know anything more about the Nintendo 64. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and press the notification bell so you don't miss any video. Don't forget to smash that like button because... What, what the... My screen just kind of like went green for a second. But smash that like button because this is such a great video. I hope you guys will enjoy. So guys, I hope you see you next time. Bye!